Welcome back to another episode of Enjoy Northwoods. guys uh, welcome back uh, we're out in the river knee deep um, on our lunch time and uh, this is kind of a community area it's an old mill but I brought my pan today and a shovel and we're gonna see if we can get a little bit of color in this one so stay tuned uh, we're gonna poke around a few a uh, few bends maybe hit a couple uh, hit a couple uh, log jam bars because it's a lot of down trees on this like I said, it was also an old mill, so we're going to hit the foundations a little bit and see if anything collected over that. So it ought to be an interesting afternoon. Take advantage of it when you can get it. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to hit this first little, it's kind of an inside. It's got a down tree and it's got uh, a few few little bars that's forming in between uh, why it's slowing the water down and creating a little bit of a, a lower, uh, lower pressure. So we got some cobbles and some gravels falling out, so we're going to start right here, right next to the shore, and uh, see what we can get. All right, uh, you can see this insider here. It's down tree, but that's, that's from the bank. But you can see how it's just depositing. Uh, some stuff right here so we're just gonna poke around in this little bit and let's see what we get
All right, it's definitely beautiful, but uh, we're finding no gold so far. We can see this long stretch of foundation, and then out in the middle, there's another stretch of foundation, and this was the base of the old mill. I said at least 100 years ago. And we kind of been poking around out there. We poked around inside there, and I uh, haven't found nothing, but I'm gonna do another pan or two then we're going to take a hike down river uh, before I got to get back to work. But let's try to find some color before then. Right, we're working our way down and this is a log crossing almost looks like a, a damn beaver dam but it ain't but you can see how high you know the debris when this uh probably the spring thaw came how high this does get but on the back side it's kind of pushed up where it undermined this it kind of pushed up a ri uh, ripple and uh kind of flattens out but right behind it down past this next set of logs. Let me show you. Here's a nice inside bar. Gravel, kind of what we're looking for. So I think we're just going to hike down there in case we do find a little bit. We'll see if we can get a little accumulation of it. Or at least find some color at this point. So we'll try there. And maybe All right, we move down to this inside. You can see how it just totally blows over there. But this is a pretty big inside shelf here. It looks like it's a little bit light, but a lot of that's coming off of there. So, uh, let's just peek around this corner a little bit. I'm definitely gonna try, we're gonna try on this inside. Some deer. blowing in there but uh that looks pretty good down there but let's let's we're gonna take a couple pans right off uh this inside bank in a few spots so let's see if we can find something Well, we, uh, I don't know, we did three or four pans uh, right from that jam down to about here. The very first pan, we got two pieces of gold and uh, not two bad pieces of gold. And then the very last pan, we got a little micro. So there's definitely gold. i um, kind of panning fast because I'm almost out of time. But uh, we got three pieces. So uh, we're going to move back up river. Uh, there might be one more spot to check before I got to get back to work. So give me a minute. Before I lose it, there's those three little pieces. You can see that one bigger one. Oop, one just floated, and then there's that other little micro. But there was three pieces, so there's definitely gold. So uh, let me snuffer this up, and we're going to move out. All right. Well, that was fun. Um, cooled off. What a beautiful way to spend uh, my lunch hour. Uh, was it worth it? Absolutely. I'll be back. Uh, that was awesome. We did get a little bit of color. Uh, we speed panned uh, what pans we could. 
Uh, I just came down here, uh, found even a better spot, but happened to look at my watch and I'm late. So I got a beeline back to the job and uh, call it a day, I guess. So uh, awesome. Glad you got to share my lunch with you. And uh, until next adventure, we'll see you guys around.